Hey guys, it's Music King. If you guys are interested in checking out more tournament videos, check the YouTube description or just go to youtube.com slash mvgvods. All tournament videos for not just Melee and Ultimate, but many other games that we run at the Frame Perfect Series Online events every month will be there. Just take a quick second of your time to do that, as well as hitting that subscribe button and the bell. Now back to the video. We're going to start right into game one of the 7 vs. 7 Anime vs. Oddball Crew Battle. <coughs> this should be really interesting. Right. Oh, you see Tails again. Luffy! Yeah, uh, okay, so this is pretty interesting. Like, I've expected them to uh, to start off with their mains to, for some reason, but they can start with whatever character they want. Uh, first stage, Tower of Salvation, just the classic. A lot of people like to GM to this stage. Um, it's just the least laggy online for some strange reason. <laughs> so funny. it's made for like people like to go to it. <laughs> Dude, his up airs is he just he's a rubber head. <laughs> his yeah. up air is so funny. Yeah, Luffy in this game uh, definitely fits that grappler archetype. He's got a lot of really stretchy limbs, oh. big hip boxes. Nice, nice tech chase. Um, but he's definitely got a strong grab, strong confirms off a of grab, like that back throw there. That yeah. sends you into knockdown to get killed with the down smash. Uh, but yeah, that sends you into a tech situation um, pretty much all the time. And in the corner especially, it can be incredibly strong. What is that? Chase of that's like a smash. Tails robot. Oh yeah, Tails bot. Uh, that's <laughs> Tails' is upbeat. Uh, it, uh, it kind of creates this little drone that goes around on the stage. And it can be destroyed, but uh, functions as a command grab. And it kind of pops you up and does all damage. Was that in the Smash Fast 1? I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, they changed that. That's a change they made from, I believe, 9B. It used to be a little tornado as a, as a recovery move. Oh, okay, so that, that's why I've never seen it before. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, somewhat new. Um, it was added in the uh, first patch of beta. But yeah. Ooh, nice. A little bit of a down throw to uh, back air there. Very strong. I kind of want... I, I wonder what Tails would be like in Ultimate. <laughs> but wait, we, oh, we, yeah. we might not want to know that. Sp spin yeah, Death Camp and Enflying? There's, there's some wait, characters in this game that are... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they're unique, I'll just say that. <laughs> they're very unique. Um, Tails is one of them. Fortunately, he was kind of toned down. He's, as you can see, still quite strong, but definitely not as overbearing as he was. Nice back air, stealing off that stock. Yeah, you can see the Punish game just um, coming out from, uh, from Luffy and Flavian being an incredibly strong player as well. Just being able to get all these up airs, forward airs, back airs, just keeping tails in the air, not letting him land. Dude, it's Luffy's up throw, he, he makes himself a trampoline. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That's so, nice imagine him beat. fighting like that in the anime, dude. <laughs> oh, imagine. Yeah, Luffy grabs you, <laughs> he becomes a trampoline, throws you up, yeah. it's time to juggle. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, unfortunate. Uh, that up B uh, sometimes has some issues grabbing ledge, um, just because of how small the ledge grab actual the, the grab box is on it. So, a little bit of unfortunate stuff there. Some tails combos. No. Oh, great tech getting out of the down throw confirm, or the back throw confirm. <laughs> nice this throw is so stupid. <laughs> He has a very strong F throw. Uh, one of uh, Luffy's stronger kill confirms, actually. Um, it's definitely because he has a um, I believe it is set. neutral B. It's a command grab that just it leads into his regular throw set, so you can use any throw. Very close so far, though. What? <laughs> he grabbed. He like teleported yeah, yeah, yeah. to the the little bot. Yeah, uh, so every time Luffy uses a move, it extends his hurt box, and um, the grab priority on the uh, Tails bot is higher than the grab priority on Luffy's, I think that's a side beat. Yeah, um, I heard that uh, it was similar with uh, a Dalsum from like Street Fighter. He has like super yeah. long range, but if you attack at the same time he attacks, his move will like lose almost every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, gla grabs this game it. have like a sort of priority system. Ooh, that ledge hog. That's brutal. See, Tails, one of the things that was nerfed is his ability to jump. Like, his jumps are literally do not go as high anymore. So if you you can just ledge hog him for free. Oh, damn. So when you grab a ledge in this game, what's is it like the melee ledge grab where you can just edge hog? And how much invincibility sort of. is there? There is an edge hog, but there's no invincibility from ledge. Um, except from, like, roll, standard get up. But you don't get the same sort of invincibility. So but if yeah, you were to grab ledge, how much invincibility do you got? In melee, it's like 37 frames. What's it in this game? Uh, the only invincibility you have off of ledge is your invincible ledge options, which are like get up, attack, roll, uh, neutral, get up. But like, actually, like if you drop from ledge, you have no invincibility. It's kind of like brawl. No, ledges, no, 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 I'm no. Sure. I meant for edge hogging. Oh, for edge hogging? Oh, it's just however your grab is. Um, 
if your grab has a certain amount of frames of <laughs> rolls, it's specific to each character. Oh, okay. Oh, this this cool. It's oh. kind of cool. I kind of like the uh, Rayman. It's kind of like a uh, like it's an outer space. It's, it's it's a cool night night nighttime vibe. Of, uh, oh, yeah, you got the uh, the nighttime background for uh, Smashville. Dude, I've always thought the nighttime yeah. one is better than the daytime one. <laughs> yeah, ever and, since uh, Brawl. Actually, pretty cool. It randomizes every time you select the stage, so oh. you can play on different variants. You can play on the nighttime, the daytime, the early morning. Option coverage. Back throw, <laughs> back jab, throw set play. Ridiculous. Back throw, jab. <laughs> oh. Ooh, nice back air. Yeah, With the toes. Yeah, this is this is kind of a like grappler battle here. Um, Rayman, also a grappler, a very wacky character. He, Rayman's so funny. His his <laughs> every body part is <laughs> floating in the air. Yeah, and uh, much like Luffy, he uh, extends his hurt boxes with all of his moves because his feet and his hands are still hurt boxes. Yeah, he has no them. space in between them, so you have to actually hit people with the the actual body part. So it's kind of like Martha in that regard. We have to space pretty perfectly to get the strong hits. But yeah, both these characters are very wacky. That's kind of the vibe you're gonna get from a lot of these sort of like original character Air designs. Is they're they're very strange. While the uh, the characters that come from like normal Smash games tend to be actually pretty well designed to their source material. He has, yeah, he's he spins his head, but he also well, what is that plum? <laughs> yeah, it's a plum. That's um, it's kind of like a hydrant, but you can stand on it, and uh, if you hit it, you go you bounce around. It's it's his main recovery. Um, move actually, but it can also be used in neutral in the punish game in a lot of really silly situations. That's a really interesting recovery. You set, you stand on a plum and then you do attacks and a plum rises. Yeah, the uh, the attacks at the plum, it moves the plum. Um, that's how you recover with him. He also has an up beat, but it goes very short. And that also that tornado uh, command grab kind of puts you in the tornado, and you can get hit with a smash attack. And it's incredibly strong. A good dash attack there. Can you do that for everyone that ledge? Uh, no, uh, you can ledge hog it. Is, you can ledge. Oh, okay. But it is, there are a few kind of silly strategies with Luffy that involve ledge stalling like that, because that move they was using has super armor, but you can pretty easily just grab the ledge and then roll from ledge, and Luffy just dies. Dude, Lu Luffy's going so in. Very rhythm. The range Fish battle. Back the range battle. Ha! Luffy yeah, wins. Both these characters are very rangy. Um, they both really um, benefit from not getting in your face, but instead just spacing their long-range moves. A good gap attack. A nice interruption there. So Raymond just has an air grab move. Yeah, he has uh, three grabs. He has his grounded Z grab, he has his side B, and his neutral B. All our grabs. Um, That's really useful. A grappler. That's really useful, having an air grab. They can't yeah, just block yeah. your air aerial. Yeah, it's an air grab that is very extendy, um, so you can really mix people up. But there is counterplay, of course. You can always just air dodge through it, and he's very vulnerable if he misses. Yeah, but having that in your tool set's really nice. Oh, absolutely. And you can see uh, Flavian's making uh, great use of it. Just yoinking him out of the air, getting these F throw confirms. Wait, I can't F finish after tornado. Sorry. I was thinking he was gonna tornado on like Ford Smash or something. Yeah. Ooh, he got the power shield. Yeah, it is a projectile technically, so it can't be power shielded. Um, yeah. Generally, a good option to fish for on landing is tornado because tornado is a command grab. So if you land, you just get hit by it. Not really a way to avoid it. But nice death smash. Ooh, that was close. Luffy, Luffy came off strong, destroying him, but Ra Raymond made the comeback at the end. Oh yeah, Rayman. Generally considered a fairly strong character. Another character that's gone through a bunch of weird nerfs and changes. When he was first released, he was incredibly broken. Um, that dude, that sounds like, like every. Where he was unfun. <laughs> that and sounds like every character. Down, but he's still pretty strong. <laughs> you did. I've seen so many times when a character's first released, it like PM people, like like PM in the old days, Smash Four, Smash Smash. Like every, every game, they release a character. They want people to use him, so they make him amazing. And then they're like, well, all right, let's fix him real quick. Oh, I used yeah. to play lots. Uh, Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd Lod, whatever. I was, I was say it wrong. Uh, I used to play him. I used to play him too. Uh, all yeah, his aerials were insane. Yeah, Lloyd is a crazy Lloyd. character. Um, he's very strong. He's kind of like our game's version of Roy to some degree. Um, he's just incredibly strong aerials, strong tilts, great frame data, good kill confirms, and a very useful projectile, which uh, kind of uses for his sword fighter archetype. But incredibly good character. He, another character that used to have really silly sort of reasons why he was good. Um, and also, he was banned for a while Dude. back in 9P. Yo, let me just say, I used to use him. Um, 
like around the same time as Ichigo, and I was like, this character is like contender for best in the game at one point. Oh, he, yeah, it felt in, like uh, it. that time period, 9B, uh, give or take, those early patches in Alpha, he was top five every patch, top one most patches. Yeah, he was broken. <laughs> he was really strong. Um, he's been toned down quite a bit in uh, beta. He's still a, a top character, though. I would say top 15 in most tier lists is top 10. Tends How many characters? That area. Very good, though. How many characters are there? Uh, I think 47. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. With the, re with the release of Ganondorf, which was our most recent patch added Ganondorf to the game. So, Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be seeing a Ganondorf, but he's uh, a slight reimagining of like a melee Ganondorf. A nice dash attack. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was a one-stock game. Yeah, yeah. You think so any of these characters will get an ultimate? Think any of these characters we see today are gonna get an ultimate? I don't know. Um, I'm not one for like predicting the future, that kind of stuff. Oh, that's but, fun. You know, oh, come on. Possible. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there could be some. Um, there's the, the one of the big draws of this game, I would say, is that we have a bunch of characters that were like, "Hey, your character didn't make it into ultimate. We got him in SSF too. You want Goku? You want Sora? If you want Lloyd, you got Chibi Robo. We got all sorts of fun stuff. We got Black Mage." Yeah, I, this game. When did this game come out at first? I know this game came out before Smash Four by a lot. Oh, I think gosh. right after Brawl, right? It was between Brawl and well, Smash Four. The, the beta patch came out. I would like to say 2016 or 2017, which is the patch they're playing on. Well, the no, version no, of the no. game that they're playing. No, on. I definitely played it like a Smash Flash, oh. like this, be in the Brawl days. Yeah, yeah Smash Flash Four. Or, sorry, Smash Flash One came out much earlier. I did not put a date on it to save my life though. I heard all the spaces, oh, at least Falco and Crystal, were insane. Oh yeah, Crystal's nuts. Um, both Falco and Crystal are very high tier, uh, arguably top tier. I heard they're both top five, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're both really strong. Um, opinions kind of vary in terms of tier lists. Uh, the game just got patched again, so we kind of like have time to discuss and debate what characters are very good. But we do know Crystal incredibly strong. Probably a character we'll see a bit of in bracket. What? Nice up there. Yeah, yeah he just exploded. So, Crystal has a staff, and it's pretty good. Uh, it lo it's long range, the, the sweet spots kill incredibly early. And uh, this is a this is a character that a lot of um, players will have a, uh, a pocket, because Crystal is fairly easy, and also ridiculously strong. So, this is a character you might be seeing in bracket um, quite a bit tomorrow. Uh, oh, that's cool. Tends to be quite easy, and also quite good. What makes her so easy? Um, She's just very fundamental, kind of flowchart. Uh, her moves work exactly the way you think they should. Um, back air is like her... You can pretty much play neutral with just back air, and it beats like half the cast. Okay, the melee like, the melee back air. Fox, Falcon yeah. back air, but no lag. <laughs> yeah, a lot of melee aerials where like very little lag. Um, strong hitboxes that linger and combo. Um, great kill confirms. Yeah, that back air looks amazing. Her bad recovery. But yeah, she's got that CSS forward air too, so she's Crystal's just really good. She's got a great zoning toolkit. She's got, as you can see, with that ledge cancel. Yeah, I was gonna say ledge cancel. Ridiculous speed. That's so cool. Yeah, those side beats can be ledge canceled for great speed, and uh, it also is a fantastic combo starter. It has a ton of uh, hits done. You can combo to pretty much anything. She's got great kill power. Anything you really want in a spacey, but also a pretty lackluster recovery. But yeah, that's that's what you get. If you're playing spacey. <laughs> I like how his shield is also a different animation. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a Yoshi shield. It uh, cannot be shield poked. Wait, but you so. can jump out of it, right? Yeah, you can jump out of it. Wait, so it's just better. It's just the same but better. There's no flaws. Yeah, it's to just it. a regular shield that can't be shield poked ever. Oh, it's just straight up better if no flaws. <laughs> yep. That's part of what makes her really strong, but also that her fantastic normals. Um, all of her moves essentially have a use case, which is um, an important thing to have if you're a character. It's not really a move on her that's bad. Ooh, nice RC dash from uh, Flavian. Right? It's a little technique. And that down smash, another thing that makes her really, really good. That down smash has a ridiculously big hitbox, and uh, it kills early, as you can see. I need to see but that land. <laughs> yeah, if you get hit by the um, the wave that it creates as well, it trips you. Like, uh, you just put into a tech situation, and that can be brutal. No, Bear looks, it's, dude, there's no lag on Bear. Yeah, Bear is nuts. It's also both of her legs, like the front leg and the back leg, have a hitbox on yeah, there. Yeah, same as Fox um, and Melee. So yeah, it's it's just, 
like people have tended to say before, it's like you can beat entire characters with just bear if they don't have the tools to deal with bear. Yeah, that looks like her best move from a noob's perspective like myself. Absolutely. Uh, any perspective, it's a great move. Uh, but her other moves are also incredibly strong. Nair, great combo starter. Uh, Fair, great combo finisher. Uh, bear kills super early if you sweet spot it. Dare uh, just dunks people again if you sweet spot. There's a lot of really strong moves. She's very fast. She's really good. <laughs> it literally has zero landing lag, dude. Yeah, it's it, landing lag is... In SSF2, there's very low landing lag in general, because that's just kind of how the game is coded to be. And uh, some characters have really low landing lag. Universal sort of landing lag for most aerials tends to be frame 4 or 5. Oh, we got it! We got, the, we got this Master Chief Sniper! Yeah, the sniper's <laughs> also really strong. We've had to tone that down a few times as well. That used to kill much earlier. It was very silly. Very nice game. Keeping it close, too. Crystal for Smash? <laughs> Crystal for Smash? Yeah, yeah. Who, who, um, who would get into Smash first? S oh Slippy, gosh, Peppy, or uh, Crystal? I feel like Sora's been asked for for a while, but the no, way, no, no, the no, way no, that no. Sora's been done in SSF2, I don't think anyone in Smash Ult would really like Sora. She's Sora's a little silly. Alright. Oh, I'm in of the spaces. I'm in of Pippi, uh, Slippy, and uh, oh, yeah, Crystal. Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Slippy getting in, in the Smash? All the memes that would the come frog? from that. Can you imagine the memes yeah. of Slippy getting into Ultimate? <laughs> yeah, that would be. Yeah, that that be. would go crazy. The, either the dumbest or the smartest move ever. Absolutely. All right, and we got some Isaac action. All right, very cool. That's from Golden Sun. I never played it, yep. but I heard good things. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I've also never played it. Um, but yeah, this character, very interesting, kind of gimmicked around using the um, hands, and his other sort of gimmick that lets him do very well is his tilts. His tilts stay out um, regardless of whether he gets hit or not. So um, they're really good for trading in that regard. You, oh, yeah, the they literally can't be beat. But he's, uh, to compensate, he's quite slow, quite floaty. Um, but yeah, he's got some cool hand stuff you can do. Master hand, ooh! Like, Master hand spike. Like oh. <laughs> yeah, Weak he, Master hand. It's always worth going for. It's just a very weak spike. Doesn't set down very fast. Um, can be just jumped out pretty early, so it's not be a super great option at these lower percents. But always worth going for the game, especially on a spacey like Crystal. Ooh, a little combo game. Not just putting on the pressure. But yeah, is Isaac's Isaac's pretty wild. Do a lot of really like just crazy stuff. His hands have some weird techniques where you can kind of manipulate them in, in ways to get really strong shield pressure and combo options. And uh, he tends to be quite strong. Um, he also has a vine, which is a command grab. Um, keeps doing the little vine for a while. You get a smash attack for free, which would have killed, but Streamland. Yeah, I was like, Dreamland has a really high ceiling, just like usual. Oh yeah, this is a, a very big Dreamland. Went for the ledge hog, but did not have enough iframes on his ledge hang. What? Well, the hands just went in different directions. Yeah, yeah. The hands could oh, go that, in yeah. three different directions. It could go up, back, in, and down. Or it can just keep going out. It's a constant hitbox. It's very, a very good move. It's kind of his, his main point of his toolkit is to kind of build around the hand. And that's a character you might see more of in bracket if uh, Pixel does well, which is a player who's entered who's a top Isaac player. I, I took a look at the bracket just to see like what's going on and try to predict the predict the outcomes and stuff. What you're going to be seeing, hopefully. All right, give me, give me a wait. Uh, don't, don't can you pause actually? Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> well, I'll do this and then. Uh, all right. It, I heard the mage was ridiculous in the past, but then um the mage, uh black mage. I heard he got yeah. uh, nerfed at some point. Yeah, he's um. He's had some changes, so he used to be really bad for a variety of reasons, mainly um, no range, his jump was terrible, um, his recovery was terrible. So they kind of compensated by giving him a really, really silly down move. Well, it was already silly, but What's they made it sillier. It's called Stop. It makes you, well, as the name implies, stop. But it used to be that you can um, SDI while you were in that, so you can kind of like get away from follow-ups, and they made it so you can't SDI Ooh. it. The double, oh. double dunk on there, there. Very nice. But yeah, then they made Stop. Um, last longer, and you can't SDI it, and you could just you could do really silly things with Black Mage's toolkit. Because Black Mage's gimmick is kind of that he has uh, chargeable smash attacks in the sense that if you fully charge the smash attack, you get a different variant. So that's the F smash right there. If you fully charge it, it will send a huge wave of thunder that just continually goes out across the screen. 
Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, Salem, Salem's done that to me. It just the thunder goes across the whole screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, people used to get combos like they would do the full stop, which allows you to charge a full F smash, Yo, and then you just forward going. throw them into it, and it put you back towards you. Just combo, just like hit you back and forth between this wall of thunder and black mage. And it would just do 80 plus damage. It was very, very silly. I love the ch the chocobo effect. Oh yeah. yeah I, I honestly, I think Black Mage is one of like the most interesting design characters. Oh yeah, certainly. Um, definitely a character that um, has been kind of changed a lot as well, and has been in the game for a while. So uh, I do I do like uh, Black Mage quite a bit. I don't play him personally, but um, oh here it is. Always a fun fight. Yep. There's that thunder wall, and uh, oh, there's the down smash. Um, sends ice across the whole stage. And freezes. Um, the, uh, oh, that's the, 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 I believe the up smash sends a huge column of fire up into the sky. Some down through combo. Little hand stuff. Keeping him at disadvantage very nicely. Yeah, and the hands have like no lag. You can just follow Yeah, up. the hands are... You can keep them out. Like, you can keep them active while you're doing another move. If you give them a command, like if you make them go down or make them go up or back, then you can immediately do an action. So, so you should basically really always do a lot that. of pressure if people are sitting in their shield. Yeah, you should basically always do that then. Yeah, it's it's a good idea. You know, get those full hop hands, land with an aerial, then just put, <laughs> put a down tilt on their shield if they're shielding. Um, it, does, it does have a hard time. It does lose to dash back pretty hard, but... Uh, as you could, but the problem, Black Mage is pretty slow, so he doesn't really have a lot of options to have dash back. You can try and go for a dash attack, maybe, but he's just he's such a slow little guy. Nice F smash. Clean it up. Yeah, he's trying to get the F smash again, and then he can, now he can yeah. go in for whatever he wants. Yeah, but yeah, he's sitting on that platform and just, just jump over it. That's the one kind of downside to it is it, it's both you can jump over it, you can air dodge through it. You can also power shield it and reflect it back, which is very scary. Nice forward air. Oh, oh right, I forgot you could power shield and reflect back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, power shielding is uh, melee power shield reflects everything back. Yeah, but it's, it's easier than the melee power shield, right? Yeah, it's easier. Uh, it's slightly... Like, it's more like you could do it like you have a two-frame window, I think. Well, it's, it's two-frame melee, but it must be the whole shield or something, then. Yeah, it, well, it's this game runs slower. It's 30 FPS, oh, yeah, so two okay, frames, so it's like actually like more like four. Yeah. So I always have to do the math whenever yeah. I'm trying to convert between... This is that doing like a traditional Smash game. Oh, he gets the stop freeze. there. Oh. And uh, normally that stop, um, you could SDI that, and that was changed. You can no longer SDI it. Um, and back when you could SDI it, made it almost completely useless. And since they changed it, it's become incredibly strong. That's a good kill. Oh, not quite. Well, I was about to say, a float, a float you getting hit by Lloyd's up smash. Almost guaranteed, but just barely let him. Yeah. He seems like Black Mage is like a character. You just don't want to let him set up that move. I yeah, feel like yeah, if he sets you don't up really, Thunder. He's good at like kind of keeping you out. Um, he also has a move called Meteor, which he actually just used, um, which is kind of like a projectile that you can use from the air, which is uh, quite strong. Does a good bit of shield damage and shield knockback. He's very much a zoner, although he can be played somewhat as a rushdown. Nice back air. As he does have a pretty decent list of like aerials he can use. Um, are decent, but he really just lacks range, which uh, it really just is his lack of range, lack of speed. It makes it hard to like really approach anyone. You're just gonna get dash backed on by faster characters, and it's just pain. He reminds me of, like Steve, where he's like super good if you give him time, but if you don't give him time, um, if you don't give him time, then he just doesn't seem as good. Uh, yeah, you could, if you space outside of his range, kind of keep him in the corner. There's not a whole lot he can do because he needs time to make things happen, and you can just react to it. All right, I'll be right back in just one minute. All right, chat, it's Domo. While Jason takes his quick restroom break, we have, I think, three characters left on Team Oddball. Don't forget there's a Matcherino for Smash Flash. 
Uh, the code is M2K Flash 4. I should probably update the data command. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> right now we have over $500 in the pot. I cannot believe it. And I know everyone hasn't used those Matcherino codes. So that prize pool could be easily way higher. Build that prize pool. We love a nice prize pool. Yeah. Big shout outs to uh, those who made the prize pool that high. I'll, I'll show the match arena a little bit later. All right, looks like we have Mitsu King back. Mitsu King. Whoa. Hello. I'm back. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Welcome back. We're back on. We're on game seven. Black Mage ran away with it. Uh, I feel like. I feel like Black Mage, uh, that, in that match, one critique I have is when. Uh, I don't play the game like that, but when he went in with the thunder, I felt like he should have been more aggressive. Like, use yeah. the thunder to that, try that to 2v1. That's a pretty good strategy. Yeah, it's, again, like I said, Black Mage kind of slow, lacks range. Um, a player like uh, Flavian could pretty easily just shield a lot of options that um, Black Mage would throw out or just dash back. Um, and there's no, no, not no. really a lot that Thunder can do. If you know how, like, if you know its timings, if you know how to power shield it easily, um, it's really not that big of a threat at high level. You don't think that he could do like after doing the fully charged Thunder, he, the Black Mates can go in aggressively and use that as a support. I mean, you definitely can. That's why I think he should have did. Um, it's it's not. That I would good. say it's generally not an option that you see very often, uh, especially from Black Mage players. I've played a, flu a few Black Mages. Every time they've tried to do that to me, I just either run up and hit them and say, no, why are you charging that stop? Um, or if they actually do manage to get off, I'll just go back, power shield, and Black Mage is too slow to get to me if I just, so, like, dash back to a safe distance. Alright, so Black it Mage seems like he can only really zone. <laughs> oh, very, Sora! Very we got Sora! Um, one of my uh, characters that I've played in the past, so this should be fun. I saw some, I tried a bit of Sora, um, and oh, like, th most of his, ha ha half of his aerials, He's bounced off you for another aerial. It's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's his whole gimmick. So he has this thing called bouncing, which is um, applied to his down air, up air, nair, and slightly to his forward air, but not his back air, where he uh, gets a slight bounce um, when he hits you with the move. This is uh, pretty interesting because at low percents, this means he can follow up off of an aerial combo without jumping, expending his double jump at all, which allows you to just get these crazy ladder combos. Um, uh, lovingly referred to this character as Soroneta, um, not for the good reasons. Um, he also his up B is up, does not put him into free fall, and it acts like a third jump. So this character really is just I will just bounce you all around. Like can he up B and attack? Uh no, it doesn't have a hitbox, okay. it's just like a jump. It's okay. like a, an extra jump. But it doesn't put yeah, right there, that was the Oh, I can air dodge. The, yeah, you can do anything out of it. You can do an aerial, you can air dodge, you can do whatever. It does not put you into free fall. And uh, so it makes Sora really good as a, a sort of air fighter. Um yeah, he's pretty silly. Um I don't believe Flavian has played much Sora, just in general. Ooh. Oh, that's a poor John stuff. Yeah. Side B, uh, kind of an interesting move. It is a attacking move where you fly at your opponent kind of willy-nilly, and if you hit them, you can do all sorts of different inputs uh, to send them in different directions, somewhat like a command grab, but the move isn't a command grab. It uh, does not grab your opponent at all. It just works like a regular attacking move. Uh, but if you shield it, they bounce off, and they go flying, and it's pretty comical. Uh, generally not considered a great move by many Sora players, as it's incredibly unsafe, and it's just better to be safer. I want to see these bounce combos. Yeah, um, bounce combos can be pretty interesting. Um, you gotta kind of like lab your percents, your weights, um, your your routes for how they're DIing. Um, so it does take a little bit of practice, and I don't know if Flavian really plays Sora that much, but. Um, I was considered to be one of the, uh, the better stores at getting those Lyra combos, not to toot my own horn or anything, but it is. It's it's quite funny to jab someone and then just Lyra them into the blast zone at zero. Um, it can be quite discouraging to your opponent. Nice up smash. We might see some, though. See if uh, Flavian knows how to do his ladders. Surf ultimate? Surf ultimate? I haven't played Kingdom Hearts yet, dude. This is this is why I don't think Sora would be your ultimate. Sora uh, in this game, we call we call Sora Soraneta. Um, uh, from what I remember, people didn't really like the concept of Bayonetta being able to do Bayonetta things. Um, Sora can do Bayonetta things if you get it just right, and Sora has a sword, so it's a swordy Bayo. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, this is a great character that everyone wants in their competitive Smash game. Uh, yeah. The kind of 
thing that keeps Sora kind of like not super great is like, like, like low speed, uh, slightly low range just by being a swordy. And, uh, generally okay frame data. His frame data is not bad, it's just not particularly great. He can really struggle versus projectile characters and characters with bigger swords because they just wall him out and you can't ever hit them. But he's really fun. Um, my floaty counter pick when I played um, because he can kill almost every floaty at zero just by laddering them off the top and killing them with a thunder, which is oh. part of his command deck, which is his down B. Oh! Right there. Freeze! There thunder! Be the, <laughs> there be the thunder. Um, yeah, his command deck is uh, five, three moves. You got fire, freeze, and thunder, each doing different things, and you cycle through them. It's generally best to stay on thunder, because thunder does the most damage and the most knockback, and it's the biggest. It's the best one. Yeah, pretty much. Um, although they're all useful, they all have use cases, but um, when you need a thunder, it's nice to have a thunder. Oh, Chibi Robo! Chibi Robo! Alright, this should be fun. Chibi Robo's a funny little character. Um, yeah, I remember I used to use him uh, many long time ago. Yeah, yeah he's great. Um, he's just got a silly moves that he's got. He's got a toothbrush. He's got his plug. Fun little character. He was the source of very interesting glitches because of his down B, which is like a pocket, like a like a villager pocket. Except it's really, really bad in the sense that it doesn't really work. Um, or at least it used to. It used to have some very interesting interactions with certain things. Um, and it was quite funny, um, but it was kind of a joke. But they patched it for sense and it works more like a normal move now. It's up air. Yeah, that up air. Also, one of the most important things about Chibi, that up air is incredibly strong. You can kill as early as 70% if you get the sweet spot. Definitely one of the scary things about the character. Back throw. <clears throat> yeah, back throws all sorts of throws are pretty in. good. If they di in, they get they get hit. Yeah, and if they di out, um, is usually there's not much of a follow up, but you could get so a gimmick, yeah. situation. So you gotta throw them fast and make them miss di. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of good uh, mix up throws that Sora has. Um, all of his throws can be used to some uh, to some extent as a combo throw, except for F throw. F throw is just kind of the reset neutral throw. There's down throw right there. Nice fair. Toothbrush. Chibi living. Yeah, oh, he's better than toothbrush. toothbrush. Yeah, well, a big Chibi flaw there is his recovery routes tend to be incredibly linear. Um, once he, push, he has to put out the toothbrush to really gain a lot of uh, horizontal distance because he falls very fast. So he's got to make sure he puts that out. Ooh, ledge stall. That's a pretty fun ledge stall you can do with Sora. If you want stall. Um, it is challengeable. So it's not perfect, but it, it does... Um, Reward Sora with off-stage control if this, the Keyblade manages to hit. That move seems amazing. It's a great move for um, being off-stage because you can snap ledge with it immediately. The key throw? Which is the, with a key. But yeah, it's good. Toothbrush Carol. Was that toothbrush? What is that? Toothbrush. We love smacking people with toothbrushes. It's the best thing you can possibly do. Good down throw. Yeah, Nos DIing in on all these down throws. Um, really the, that, that, that two first move, that can't be a good move. That This has to be a troll. Is that good? good that slow side B in the air, whatever it is. Uh, it, it's not really. Yeah, it it's seems very troll. punishable. But like, Chibi is a fast faller. He falls really fast. So he, if he's off stage, you need it. You need he it. can't get back to stage if he doesn't like make up some ground. And his double jump doesn't go very high. So, so it sucks, but it's necessary. Kind of has to. It's not really something you ever want to use, but like yeah. here, if he didn't use it, he would Ooh, just freeze. Be oh, well, that didn't. He didn't care. Yeah, freeze is weird because after the uh, freeze ends, it sort of like pops you up in the air. So you can't like send people to their death with freeze like you might be able to do with like say like Lucas and Ultimate. It's quite a bit different. Yeah, key throw is crazy. Yeah, the key the key move is certainly a good one. Um, we got a lot of use cases, and uh, it can help them a lot in many matchups. As long as you have that down smash, a little bit scary. Him with the toothbrush. Tried to dunk him. Um, generally a good way to challenge, but unfortunately gets hit by the starting hitbox of a keyboard throw. What is that thing in the background, that flying TV? Oh, that's his little buddy. Um, in the, like... 
canon source material, Chibi Robo has a little buddy that looks like a television. And Does that's, it help him? that's who he is. He just hangs out. He doesn't do anything. He's not. He doesn't what actually the heck? help you. He just watches you and cheers you on from the background. <laughs> it's a but Pokemon trainer human. Because it's, it's, Pokemon it's human. canon to the source material. He's fun. No, oh, I missed the ledge. That's a that yeah, was a his, bad update. His recovery <laughs> is a little iffy. It's it's his sweet spotting is it's decent, but his ledge options are not very good, and you can get ledge hogged very easily. If I do it five times, you won't expect it. Yeah. Six. Ah, oh, oh, the conditioning. Grab. Yeah. Anything you do Chibi after six in a row is very slow. slow. So you t his out shield options tend to be the reason why Chibi remains to be sort of bad competitively, is because his out shield options are pretty atrocious. They're all very slow. <laughs> Good up, Joel. But yeah, that grab, not super useful out of shield. Yeah, but his out of shield, it's like some Sephiroth ultimate lack of out of shield. Yeah, <laughs> Probably it, got a he roll. really get struggles. Get out, get out of there. If he's in shield, his best option is usually Nair, and that's like frame 7, which in a real Smash game would be like frame 14, so it's slow. We got some Naruto. Naruto's fun. Um, and this is, is a it character Naruto or we could Naruto? potentially see. It's because, Naruto, uh, right? Sorry? It's Naruto, right? Yeah, Naruto. Yeah. He can, uh. His whole gameplay is based around Shadow Clones and um, being a zoner. And it's pretty interesting. Uh, there's one player named RC, the inventor of the RC Dash, who um, plays this character at a very high level. So if, we, if he makes it far in bracket, then uh, be, be sure to see some of him playing. All right, let's go, Kakashi. Yeah, he's a very interesting character, um, very strong. Um, his projectiles um, are incredibly strong, and his combo game is very good. Um, his main disadvantages lie in his pretty poor recovery and his uh, lack of any super spectacular normals. Nothing bad, just nothing really that he's like over centralizing in this gameplay. So is Kakashi good in this game? I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like he can't anymore. get back. Oh, yeah, his recovery is bad. Like um, his recovery is just—he doesn't have a lot of options to get back. Um, there, I was just misplaced the timing. Um, but yeah, his projectiles are mainly what make him incredibly strong. His ability to control stage and his ability to combo you really are. But besides that, he tends to be slightly lackluster, so he's very glass cannon zoner archetype, if that makes sense. Yeah. Kill you fast or die fast. Yeah, he's pretty fast. He's uh, not the fastest. Uh, just his lack of range really, like, he gets dash back. Ooh, nice little RC dash from Moss there. So, Does his side B. Is that a grab where he throws the other Naruto? The Shadow Clone? Is that a grab? Or is it just a... No, nah, that's uh, it's just a hitbox. It, it knocks shield. the um, opponent towards Naruto so you can get follow-up off of it. But what if they shield it? Does it grab him? If they shield it, um, nothing happens. Um, oh, if you power okay. shield it, it goes back at Naruto. Because if that was a grab, that would change a lot. Oh, if it was a grab, it would be broken. Yeah, if it, if it actually... Because, I mean, it, it, it he does grab you. Yeah. <laughs> it is a... It, I mean, it, it could be programmed as a grab, but... Yeah. yeah it, if you could just shield it... Side functions like a hitbox. Um, but yeah, it, it does look like a grab. There are a couple moves in the game like that that look like they are grabs, but are actually not grabs. Um, they're, they're coded not to be grabs, so they can't, like, beat shield. We got some Bomberman action, a very fun character. Um, pretty much all about his uh, bomb usage, which is his down, or his, uh, neutral beat, so he'll bomb there. You yeah. can set that off at any time by pressing down B. It'll do a little bit of damage and hit you. You can also charge them for more knockback and more damage. It's a really fun character. Dude, I, I, uh, I tried to play Bomberman, and it was so confusing that I just got bugged. Because yeah, <laughs> if, if you don't know how, you don't know how to use bombs, you can't do anything. But if you know how to use yeah, bombs, then he can do setups. Absolutely, yeah. Bomberman is really, really good, but very sort of not fundamental. Like, yeah, you have to don't make sense. really know what you're doing to do anything. Yeah, absolutely. I Especially with his kind of lackluster recovery. A nice little trap. Yeah, Bomberman has a really bad recovery. He's a fast baller. He gets punished really hard, but you can set up a lot of stage control. He's got a couple bombs out right now, so as you can see, the, that stage control is super nice. That constant threat of, oh my god, those are going to blow up whenever he wants to just blow them up. He also has a really strong punish game. Um, just with his, all of his moves just link into each other super well. Up air strings, uh, forward airs, things of that variety. 
Oh, did the bomb, yeah, did he blow it up manually or is it after on after a timer too? Oh uh, yeah, it's you can blow it up wherever you want by pressing down B. I think it's a uh, frame three animation. So it's pretty fast. Yeah, you, the, the, it's always the threat of I'm gonna blow these bombs up on you. Or I can choose not to and just have that mental game of yeah. like, you get conditioned to thinking, oh I have to shield now because I'm about to hit by a bomb, and then you just run up and grab them. So there's a lot of like sort of like mind games you can play with bombs. Yeah, really hit him with the head. Here. Yeah, this is either the head schmack. Uh, definitely one of his strongest kill moves, that, uh, that forward air. He also uh, can kick his bombs around by using side B. Um, you could literally just kick them, and that's also fun, because that means you have to plant a new bomb if you want to move it to somewhere else. Like, you can plant a bomb like he's got right now, a bomb in the middle of the stage. If uh, Flavian gets off stage, he can kick that bomb to, like, a ledger old distance, and then wait for a ledger old reaction to blow it up. So there's a lot of uh, really interesting stuff you can do with Bomberman. Can you uh, just throw infinite bombs on a stage? Uh, you're you're capped at five. Um, once you reach your fifth bomb, any extra bomb will take the remove yeah, the yeah, bomb, the last, the last bomb that was placed. So not infinite, but it's a pretty known pretty strategy much, to have five much. bombs out at all times. Yeah. Usually small bombs, uh, because they're really fast. You can just make a bunch of them super quickly. Yeah. These P bombs are useful too. They kill. And Pump they, bombs. Um, big hitbox, but um, they tend to take so long to make that they're not. Oh. Grass and shuriken. Very strong. That does uh, poke through shields. Oh, so very strong. Ooh, nice fair gun. This is a spike, hit, spike hitbox on the end of that fair. Nothing else could do about it. Double head bomb. Very nice. Very clean. Why is he mad? He won. <laughs> oh, he just, he just looks like that. Um, just angry bomber man. No, I played bomber in 64 a lot. He never mad. He never mad like this. He always, he always, yeah. lo he, he always looking at you with those two line eyes. <laughs> not, not, not the angry brows. Yeah. All right, guys, who's, who's, who's gonna win this? Is Team Anime or Team Oddball gonna win? Guys, who's uh, winning? Team I Anime, think team Team Anime stocks, right? I think they're up a couple stocks. I actually. I only have one, there's only one stock difference right now. Who's gonna win? Team Anime or Team Oddball? Uh, I'd have to remember who's left. Uh, Nos and Team Oddball still has Waluigi. Waluigi is a top tier character. Waluigi is Nos's main, so that's a huge factor. Um, but uh. Goku is left on Team Anime, and that's um, Flavian's main, so that's definitely something that's, it's gonna be, I think that's actually how they planned it, to have their mains be played last, so it should be incredibly interesting, very close. But if I had to guess, why Team Oddball, Nos just such a strong player in my opinion, I, I look up to him a lot as a player, he's really, really good, and uh, his Waluigi, um, his Waluigi won Summit. We have a, a Flash Summit where we invite all our best players, and uh, he won summit. that. Without, I don't think he dropped a game. Like he was, his Waluigi is nuts, and that should be a treat to watch. Are all the Flash Summit players here. Hmm? Are all the Flash Summit players gonna be here? Um, I think a few of them are entered. Uh, I have to look at the bracket. But, Bring, uh, get the others. This still time? Wait, is there? No, 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 there's not. No, it is not. There's not time. I think you switch. All right, we get. Oh, Goku. With right. the Goku bringing it out, um, so Goku, um, like we were talking about earlier, uh, kind of midi, but Flavian, the master, you see him doing all these crazy dash maneuvers by canceling his up B. Um, yeah, he, Flavian's a really good Goku player. Um, unfortunately, the limitations of the character make him kind of meh, but Goku has a lot of interesting tools and like sort of things. He got that up B, which is a command grab and can be auto canceled on landing for a little slide. He's got a float and can be used to float cancel, much like a peach float. Um, a lot of interesting stuff. Really strong kill throws, um, but his recovery tends to be uh, not the best. But Goku can fly. And, and, it's nonsense. Yeah, and he tends to struggle sometimes with some zoners. Um, he has some bad matchups, um, but this is Flavian's main. Um, Flavian obviously being a great player, um, so this should be to the point where Flavian starts to make a bit of a comeback. A top five player mains a mid low tier. Uh, he's made a, a ton of different characters over his career. He mains Goku now, but he doesn't really enter as much. I would say, uh, back when he was entering consistently, he played Fox and Peach, and they were at the time he was playing. Those were both like two of the top characters again. Um, we I always tell Flavian if he's if he's ever playing like you know, stop stop playing Goku, just 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 go Peach or go Marth or go Ichigo or any of your other characters, and you'll do much better. He's, he's a diehard Goku fan. He's trying to make the character work, trying to push the character. And uh, like I said, every character can kind of be somewhat viable in this game, to some degree. Um, 
They all have things that are like, yeah, there's some things that are not super great. Ooh. But uh, oh, what? if you push a character hard enough, you what? can see it's, what? it's good. Ah! Right now. <laughs> uh, no, he's dead first. He's dead first. Tragic losing that stock. Yeah, Goku recovery. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes, but. <laughs> Uh, the Flavian Goku making quick work of those remaining Bomberman <laughs> stocks. Um, you can see his comfort his comfort with this character is so much higher. He was just going off on his punish game and was playing neutral so much more fluidly. Yeah, one of the great things about this game, I'd even argue, is that you can take really any character, and if you like push him hard enough, push the characters, push the punish game, um, learn your matchups, you can do reasonably well with most characters there are only a few matchups that would really invalidate you if if that and you can mostly learn those as well so it's one of the great things about it like our lowest tier in our tier list is usually c tier or like b minus so all right we're, we're so nearing the end go yeah, versus waluigi on. oh we got the waluigi all right you got the mains all right Goku has one last yeah, Walu. walu's good <laughs> yeah here's top five Easy top 10, top 5 in that ballpark. Nos, the best Walu by a huge margin. Uh, he had a huge win streak with this character when it came out. Um, it's just, this should be a wild game. Um, we're going to see how uh, Flavian plays around the absolute just ridiculous stoning capabilities and just punnage game of Nos' Goku. Or, sorry, Nos' uh, <laughs> Waluigi. Get my character in my head. Good combo. Yeah, that plant, uh, the main thing about Waluigi that's uh, a little bit hard to deal with is that plant has a little command grab hitbox all around him, and if you get hit by plant, he'll just grab you. They give you a little bite, and he'll throw you somewhere else. That's so good. Usually, toward. it's really good. Um, that's insane. That's it's very good. hard to get around. Like, for example, just got grabbed there. Um, it can control lots of stage. The other thing that Walu has that makes him really strong is his uh, his dice, which um, are kind of like Game & Watch. Um, the side B, like the judge hammer, except they are thrown and completely transcendent, so you can't really do much about it. The decay can already end? Uh, yeah, you can cancel it if you want. It's generally better to not be in Kaioken. Kaioken's really bad. Um, it does a lot of self damage, and the benefits are almost none. I think Kaioken should get better. Yeah, um, and it used to be pretty good, uh, but it was too strong. And now it's just better to be in regular form Goku. But yeah, you'll see you'll see him do the Kaioken the start animation of Why it. Why is he alive? Oh, good he's at DI. almost 300. Also, Walu can't kill. Walu yeah, can't kill. Now, now he's at 300%. Might as well. But yeah, you Walu's just, good at everything but killing. Yeah, Walu can't kill. That's kind of a common complaint that Nas has even had about the character. But uh, think of it like Smash 4 Sheik. Yeah, you to need to have a weakness. Like, you need to have a weakness. Smash 4 Sheik can't kill. It's still top two, so. Alright. Uh, she has it down to a 120 50 50, though. Yeah. With uh, with Walu, it's it's a similar sort of situation. I think it's an up throw and F throw are his like, combo mix ups. But his punish game, he'll get you to kill percent. And then just kind of like wait around for you to die on your own, sort of natural terms. Oh! Oh! Ooh, no spike! No spike! Yeah, the small, the spike hitbox on that forward air is very small. Ah, I hit him in reverse. Yeah, reverse hitbox. The final battle, Goku's final. Wait, that wasn't even the head. Yeah, the hitbox is uh, pretty generous. Yeah, Walu, Walu, quite strong. Yeah, you can get a lot of kills if they run into plants. Um, Two most players one. generally would not prefer to do that. Nozzle the tech chase. Oh. This is what he's known for: his tech chasing off those up throw up airs. Quick 80% almost. Nice oh! <laughs> oh plant combo, in. plant dice combo. It, this is Yo, why go I kid, said go kid, kid. Nos probably win in Get this. one more stock. Is Walu be Schmixin? You need one more stock. And uh, he's he's trying to find it, but Walu yeah. sometimes Walu's struggles to get kill. Over and over. The only thing that really keeps him from like the best character in the game spot, but he's still really, really good. Yeah, he's a neutral master. See. Yeah, he just has wildly good neutral, incredibly strong punish game until he has to kill you. And then it's just, uh, you just wait for them to make a mistake, walk into your plant, or you could get a grab. He has some kill throws that start to kill at about 170. But yeah, this is the kind of the situation. Ooh, little wind box push there. This is kind of the situation that tends to happen is, uh, you get them to a uh, 180, and then they stop approaching on your shield, and then you <laughs> just wait. Damn that! 
I wonder. I wonder if that stock's gonna because this is his best character. Having your best yeah. character at three stocks instead of two is huge. Because Waluigi's uh, down down by one character right now, right? Yeah, but, Waluigi, but it's his most skill. has another character after this. I don't so that stock was huge. Was. Like that could yeah. determine the whole everything. I think uh, the last anime character. Who do we have left? If Ichigo? Oh, if Ichigo! Oh, I, uh, I love Ichigo. That's my main. <laughs> Ichigo, yeah, really strong character. Um, top 10, top Possibly. 15 in that ballpark. Um, very strong. Uh, certainly a good counter pick against, uh, against Waluigi and one of Flavian's mains as well. Yeah, I used yeah. to just. Uh, dash attack was, was like, wait a minute, this is broken. Uh, Ariel's broken? <laughs> okay, this dash attack yeah. Ariel. <laughs> yeah, he's. he's He's good. He's just a solid, fundamental sortie. He's kind of like our game's version of Ike, like a PM Ike almost. Very like kind of like interesting move set. Super strong though, um, and definitely a, a character that used to be co a contender for uh, top five in some previous patches. Um, had huge representation. Um, Have they ever changed dash attack since it first came out? Uh, besides like minor changes, I don't think so. Now. So I, me like, I remember at first, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> is all I need to do? <laughs> Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was a long the, time uh, ago. The noob killer. Um, it was it was a long time ago. Yeah, dash attacks the classic noob killer. It covers a huge area of space. Um, if you don't have to press the shield button and then you have an shield option, that's not bad. Yeah, that's just why. Kind of... But then you just condition them. You make you think. Yeah. You make make them think you're stupid, and then the shield, then you yeah. grab them. <laughs> yeah, it also loses the spot dodge, so there's a whole lot of uh, counterplay to yeah, it. Yeah, you but, can just uh, not do it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do it. It's in your toolset yeah. though. Oh, uh, Hollow Ichigo! Flavian. Oh, Hollow yep. Ichigo on the most dramatic stage, Smashville at yep. night. Hollow Ichigo, a very nice skin. Um, they recently re redid the skins for Ichigo, and they did a great job. Um, this is one of them. Yeah, but this yeah. is, uh, this is, uh, this is Nos, this is Whoa, Hollow Ichigo. Whoa, a bear Ooh, spike! A bear spike. Buff Ichigo. Um... <laughs> yeah. Um, so one thing that you might not know about Nos's Waluigi is to uh, win our Smash Summit, um, Nos had to fight three of the best Ichigos in the game. And he beat all of them. He did not get sent to lose. But losers. I didn't enter. <laughs> well, were you ranked <laughs> on the FCR? You should have earned more tours. You could have been uh, eligible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, Nos is a absolute Ichigo slayer, but Flavian is a spectacular Ichigo. His movement is pretty unparalleled with the character. Um, Ichigo has a lot of really cool movement. Um, most notably, his fair dash, which is when you use um, his fair is kind of like a wave dash. Waves, if yeah. you land cancel, and you can use it to just slide around and be a little little slippery Ichigo. And uh, Flavian used to main this character to great effect when he uh, he picked up this character, uh, played him for about a week of practice sessions, um, and uh, placed, I think, second or third in the tournament. So, out of like one week of practice on character, he previously never played that much of. So. Yo, Waluigi just. The way he can just jump and move around, he just doesn't care about dash attack. <laughs> yeah, and with yeah, this Walu, platform, this platform. The, the phrase is that Walu doesn't care about your neutral, he has his own plan, and you cannot stop him. And uh, especially in this matchup, uh, Nos, uh, I've commentated the entirety of Summit. I have watched it time and time again how Nos just, I will jump, I will use plant, I'll use dice, yeah, we... I'll miss the ledge because I fast fell. All oh, the classics. Um, but he's incredibly good at like maneuvering around uh, Ichigo. So hopefully we'll go see. Uh, I love that move. <laughs> for cheeky gimp. Little plant stuff. Plant uh, he's looking for the roll. It just frame trapping him right there. Nice use of the side B there, that has some invincibility, you can get through the plant pretty easily. Um, yeah, this is kind of the game plan though for each, just hold this, hold all this stage control, don't let, uh, Ooh, jab grab, set up. throw? Uh, jab is, uh, combos into grab, because yeah. Ichigo's grab is huge, it's Ooh. like melee mark grab, it's very, it's, it's pretty heinous actually, it's giant. Why do you keep shield grabbing him when he lands with him on aerials? Oh, yeah, Ichigo yeah, needs to also, stop doing landing aerial yeah. every time. Ichigo's um, real downside Ooh. is the fact that he has um, kind of poor shield pressure options in terms of like, I can't land with an aerial and then be safe by putting a, like, a, a tilt or a jab. Which is why you'll see right. Flavius start to space a little no, bit. Close. But it's hard to space. You gotta kind of get in while losing his face to kind of keep him from doing all his stuff. What's up there? That's, that's a funny. Yeah. I love that dash attack. 
Yeah, it's it's a really strong That's multi tough. hit. Yeah, it's really good. Great combo starter. It's uh, pretty safe on shield. I think there's only like a couple frames to keep an action be actionable out of it. Oh. All, all play vintage really oh, trying to do here. Oh, didn't work. Just, Wait, jab grab. Damn, the let he, he's like it's like a DDD with these ledge traps. Yeah, the ledge trapping the is ridiculous, and um, it's like top tier in general. Yeah. Oh, that's that throw. Is he dead? No. Nah, he, he might be though. Um, oh, that'll Ichigo be also damage. has a kind of questionable recovery. It's not bad per se, but it, it is pretty predictable. And with anything that's predictable, it comes easy, easy edge guard. About to be last stock of like 13 characters. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that, that, well, that's smash action. ultimate. Last stock situation. Can, uh, can Nos, the Ichigo Slayer, bring this back? I don't. Oh, I up here, grab, he might no. be able to. Nos has been known to steamroll Ichigos before. This is how it oh. starts. Little combo. Back throw. Oh, bad DI. Wait. No, nah, that's, that's just average DI. Yeah. Um, back throw that sends out bad angle. Ooh, double fair. Very nice. Oh, the poison. Yeah, poison, it's so that's always a, a big mental aspect of the poison. Constantly taking damage. Ooh, nice up tilt. Yeah. But there's that dash oh. attack. By like oh, one damage! Guys. By like one damage! Just barely got the kill. Dude, and that, that was that the most last hit possible. And, uh, and while, while, while Luigi's... Luigi's proven me wrong. If while, while Luigi started down that stock, so if, if they if they both had four stocks, while Luigi was like running away, but while oh, Luigi yeah. had to start down a stock. Yeah, that's the. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that damn, that was close. Yeah, that was incredibly close. A great showcase from two of uh, SSF2's top Team players. Team Anime on, wins. Or the diversity of our roster. Team Anime wins. Team Anime. Woo. Uh, damn, that could not have been closer. If you average every character spot on the tier list, you yep. can say that Team Anime was kind of slated to win, but. Uh, we'll it was, it was the plot armor. Yeah, plot armor. That for was, sure. That, for was sure. That, that was that was literally the the plot armor. Yeah, that's that's how anime always wins. I mean, watch any <laughs> that, good that anime. That is how anime always wins, dude. Yeah. Anime wins by plot armor. Absolutely.